man. We just woke up on day four and it may not look like it, but I'm feeling good today. So we're gonna use this energy today, this morning, and we're gonna go out to the surf, man. It's gonna, you know, I don't like parking on the beach with my car nowadays. So we're gonna use this energy and it's gonna be a hell of a walk. All right, here begins our journey at the beach. Look how beautiful it is, man. Backpack going on, ice chest coming aboard, and then rods. Let's start walking, folks. Walking the beach. Oh, all right, here's my land. This is my land right here. My little beach fishing spot. The thing we're gonna be looking for is whiting. Cause them, they're often overlooked, but they're really good eating. So I'll definitely take those suckers. And they're always in the surf too. Only got one rod holder, so we're gonna have to finagle the other rod. Possibly hold it, possibly lean it on something. <laughs> There's the bait for today. Good old fish bites, killer, killer on whiting for sure. And you know, we always gotta go with the good old double dropper rig. And uh, yeah, say what you want about that. We don't have my, uh, we don't have the proper amount of weight, so we had to use two. Just some little hooks like that, perfect. That's all you need right there, baby. That's whiting territory. Oh, Instabites, that's what I'm talking about. Instabites, dude, those are whiting for sure. And it's on. Yes, actually, is it on? I thought it was, but I don't think it's on anymore, unless it's a dinker. Oh, it's a dinker, it's a dinker. That'll still eat though. Insta bites, baby. This, I always thought like if I was gonna be fishing for food, I was homeless, I would go to the surf and catch whiting because it's dead easy and they're good eating too. That's a little guy. Just just for the sake of the little guy, the sake of the insta bite, we'll let that guy go. All right, and rod number two, same thing. Double dropper rig. This is actually a pompano rig. A little bit heavier weight, we're gonna get this sucker out farther and it's gonna stay. Ah! <laughs> love the surf, dude, I love it. There's a guy. There is a guy. That's an eater right there, baby. <laughs> Watch it over your hard head. I think that's a good little whiting. This, this whiting's not gonna be so lucky as the first one because we're keeping it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whiting, baby. Check it out, we already got our ice chest rigged up too. Just open it up a little, drop that baby right in, right on the ice. It's gonna be a good day, man. How many whitings makes a meal though? I think we'll get at least, I don't know, 10, 10 of those suckers and we can have some whiting. I don't know how I'm gonna cook them, either whole or fry them up. <laughs> it, uh, I'm getting hungry now, man. Is there a guy on here? Oh, I can't tell. There's a guy, there's a guy on here. Ah, I can't tell, man. There you have that's definitely, maybe a bigger guy. Or maybe there's two. Yeah, it's two. Called it, boys. Dang, man, easy. The surf makes it easy, man. There we go, dude. Those are good eating right there, man. Awesome. Woo all right, let's get the big rod. Let's try, I don't know. Let's try and get it past the second bar. Woo, the waves are gonna make it tough though. Cause we're not waterproof. Stay strong, GoPro, I believe in you. All right, let's just chuck it from here. Chuck it, chuck it, baby, chuck it. The water's not too bad. I'm used to having super ugly water. A few weeks ago though, it was super clear. Hardy boy, hardy boy, we knew. We knew the hardy boys were out here. Well, man, the only time, only time we get a hit on the big rod and I'm walking out there trying to catch a little rod, but it's just a little hardy boy. What are you doing, my man? Let me get you off the hook. Oh, he ate it that time. Oh, there's no question. This is a bigger guy. Maybe he was just using the waves. 
This is definitely an eater though. Unless it's a hardy boy. He's feeling pretty strong for some reason. He's really riding those waves. Oh, nice big whiting. Yep. Nice, dude. I was gonna say it looks like a redfish and that's because he is in the cyanid family. Whiting are in the same family as redfish and all drum, really. Heck of a day so far, man. Can you beat a day like this, just going to the beach, catching your own food in the morning? And then, heck, we'll probably go fishing later too, man. Oh, I think there's a fish on here, man. This whole time, there's been a fish on. Who knows what kind of fish it is, though. It's a complete mystery. Oh, what? This is a threadfin. That's a dude, that's a threadfin shad, I think. Not shad, threadfin what? Check out that nose, it's kind of translucent and very blunt and it goes past the mouth. Very interesting. But the most interesting thing is, check that out, it has some crazy thread looking fins here. And that's why they're thread fins. I can't remember the real name, but very cool fish. Let's get him back, I'm not gonna eat this guy. Look at those thread fins. I guess they use these to, you know, just find stuff on the bottom, I don't even know. Very cool, look at that, that's awesome. All right, little guy. There he goes, he darted off right there. <laughs> he was sleeping. Awesome catch, man. Atlantic Threadfin? I think that's it, Atlantic Threadfin. Oh, it is, something's on here, man. This guy hit it like a truck. That's a bite, that's a heck of a bite. Oh, double, doubled up. And that right there is the easiest way to live on the beach, just get fish bites, little dropper rig with some little, little tiny hooks on there, and you can catch infinite whiting. All right, it's time to roll out. Oh. All right, let's check the bag, the bag of fish. Let's see how much we came away with. Oh, that's some good meat right there. That'll do. That's the perfect amount. And that's this adventure completed. Actually, we still need to cook these up and flay them, and it's going to take a while. All right, made it back. Now it's cleaning time. Let's see how many fish we're working with here. Lays, man. That's most of them anyway. I kept a few just in case we need to eat later. I'm gonna fry these suckers up. It's gonna be good. Fried fish right there. Got some uh, cocktail sauce again. This is gonna be good, man. This is actually a little bit more fish than I thought it was gonna be, which is good. All right, I'm gonna feast on this, and I'll catch up with you guys later, hopefully later today when we go fishing again. Don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something. It's pretty crazy how much we think about food. Every time I'm getting hungry, I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go down and get some food at the fast food place, get a nice sandwich, but nope, can't do it, man, I can't do it. But we are about to go out to my little spot that has not been producing for a long time, but we're gonna grind it so hard, we're gonna catch at least a few keepers. I'm sure of it. Maybe. I'm sure of it, maybe. All right, dude, here we are at the spot where I haven't caught a fish in many days. Many days fishing here, I haven't caught a fish, but I think today's the day, man. We got high water, we got somewhat okay looking water, and we got the diamond back rig back on, and gulps. It's hard to beat that combo. Woo, yep, there's grass out here too. Excellent, dude. <laughs> first cast, first fish. You got, oh. First cast, first backlash. Oh, is that a fishy? Oh, what is this? Pinfish. <laughs> Dang it, I should use you for bait, my dude. Maybe it's pinfish, not croaker, still in my baits. Could very well be. You wanna chill, buddy? <laughs> that might have been good eating. A fish, give me a fish. A fish, can I have a fish? Can I have a fish, please? There's a fish. Oh, we need you, dude. That's a good fish, too. <laughs> We're jigging. We're jigging for trout. Oh, yeah. Somehow it worked. Good thing we're eating you because you're messed up, my man. There's no way my stringer reaches all the way down there. All right, man, there's one fish, and let me tell you, one fish is better than none fish. So at least we'll have some sustenance, but I think we can still 
catch some more right down here. All right, usually I don't like to fish off the bridge because it's rough. It's rough if you're catching and releasing, especially. But say we're eating them, so it don't really matter. There's a guy. <laughs> Sitting fishing, volume two. Ah, uh, doesn't look like a keeper. Oh, he got the uh, he got the chatter weight too. Oh, he's croaking. You're not a croaker, my man. You're in the croaker family. You're not a croaker. All right, my friend, you're taking the dive. Sorry. Dude, the dime bag rig is working like a charm for these jigging, jigging trout, making so much noise. Oh, there's a guy. It might be short again. Dang it, croaking again. That's how you know it's a small guy. Actually, dude, this is kind of close. Actually, fourteen and a half. Um, yep, yeah, fourteen. Dude, that that could count as fifteen, but. I ain't gonna chance it. Follow your laws and regulations. See you, bud. Hmm, all right, dude. Well, that's all the time we got. Cause that's all the light we got. The moon's looking good though. Dude, I had to sprint my butt out of that fishing spot because I started getting attacked by the worst mosquitoes I've ever felt. I thought the Hurricane Harvey mosquitoes were gone, but they are still here and they're freaking mutant. And I flayed, flayed those fish as fast as possible because there's a few mosquitoes out t outside too. Fish fillets in an ice bath. And we're about to cook these son of a guns right now. All right, man, day four, right there. We ate in the morning and we're eating in the evening. Not quite enough to make a meal, but it's something, it's nourishment, man, it's nourishment. Good stuff, man, it's good stuff. Dude, food tastes so much better when you're hungry, man. 